Look at me. Parents right here. If you don't watch any other episode of this show, Uh-oh. you need to watch this one. This is the one. That's go ahead. That's a bold statement. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Is This For Kids? I am Jonathan Bearded Blevins. I am Katie, Mrs. Ruby Rubalcaba. And we are both parents. Not together. Not together. You have five children. I do. I have three. My oldest is eight. Your oldest is 100. <laughs> wow. She's 15, but yeah. Yeah. So, you saw, so to... she's watching all the R-rated movies for sure. 15. No, no. Oh. No, she's a good egg. She's a good kid. You're Interesting. Just, you're just mad because she doesn't live in a box. And our whole purpose of this podcast, Is This For Kids, is to help parents discern what media they should or should not be letting their children consume. Right. We're not here to tell you that you're a good mom or a bad mom or to really shame you in any way. We've kind of got different parenting perspectives on this, and we're just going to kind of give you our best, you know, our best assessment of a situation and allow you to make some choices for yourself. Yeah. yeah. And who would have thought? I've never been called a prude my entire life, but Ruby calls me that at least once an episode. So. At, at least once an episode. Yeah. We might actually agree. Today, we are going to talk about a video game. Yes. Sometimes we'll do. Sometimes we'll do movies. Sometimes we'll do musical artists, books, yeah. which we've discovered is a form of media. In fact, one of the oldest forms. Uh, we'll, we'll do movies and shows and John learned how to read last year video games yes as well and so today we're talking about one of the most popular video games in the last decade for sure yeah Roblox Roblox look at me parents right here if you don't watch any other episode of this show oh you need to watch this one this is the one that's go ahead that's a bold statement it's you've got you've got five feelings. kids who m- all but one play some type of video games mm-hmm. and you're yeah. very familiar with gaming you stream uh, on Twitch, mostly cooking, but also some gaming stuff. Your husband plays games. Yep. I stream video games. So this is a topic that we're pretty well versed on. Yes. My kids don't play games yet. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but they're getting close. Mm-hmm. And as soon as I open that door, I know I'm opening it for all three of them. All so of them. that's why we're waiting. But um, can you explain for the people Roblox? So Roblox is one of those games that when you try to get your kids to explain it to you, you will eventually lose focus and not understand what's going on and maybe just give them the green light on it because you're confused and scared. Um, And I want to just try not to give that to you right now. So Roblox is a game where it kind of looks like Legos, basically. Uh, Visually, that's what you're looking at. Um, And they have games within the game. So a creator can go into the game and using these little 8-bit Lego block characters create different styles of games. They have like tycoons where you're trying to start out with a little tiny business and grow it into something huge. They have trading games where really the only goal is to get a cool item and just walk around and have a cool item. They have things that the kids called obbies, which are obstacle courses that they jump over things, they answer trivia questions. And then there are things uh, that are like hangout games where you um, just basically a 1990s chat room with avatars um, kind of a situation. Yes. Yes. So Roblox has kind of evolved over the years from uh, in, in content as more creators come in. So the, the base game is Roblox. But once you're in Roblox, you're going to hear your kid using terms like um, Royal High or Adopt Me or Obbies, things like that, where um, there's a granny one, like just a whole bunch of different games within the game. So just knowing Roblox doesn't tell you what your kid is playing. You need to know what game within Roblox your kid is playing. So a bunch of different stuff in there and there's a lot of pitfalls and things. What do you think? Well, I'm just curious of what you're going to say about whether or not it's for kids, because if I'm a parent listening to what you just said, Mm -hmm. I'm thinking sounds pretty harmless. Yeah. Legos, the 1990s chat room part, not harmless. I was in some of those. I wasn't weird, but like any, t- I was a little because anytime you ask ASL, ASL that's weird. Check. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's as weird as I got. But like my, goodness, but everybody did numbers. it, and like we were all just putting it out there on the internet. Like I'm a 13 year old girl. What could go wrong? Yeah, that was horrifying. And so, but other than that, like everything you've said so far as a parent is just kind of like, oh, this game kind of sounds super innocent, isn't it? The same as Minecraft. Yeah, and that's going to be what parents are thinking going into this whole situation. Is like my kid plays this game. Every kid plays this game. Robux, the currency, the in-game currency is one of the most common birthday present gifts kids are giving in elementary school. Um, And it's, you know, Robux are used to purchase things like additional skins for your avatar. So you can make your avatar cuter. You can give it, you know, the ability to change its hair color at will and stuff like that. So it's sort of the same way that we talked about before in Fortnite that you can purchase money and and make your avatar more interesting. You can share it with Robux. Um, And you can get some like you know, special skills or whatever. Um, But yeah, it sounds super harmless, which is why when I'm telling you right out the gate, 
it is not for kids. I'm going to tell you right now. Um, my oldest daughter, 15, started playing yep. Roblox a bajillion and a half years ago. Somewhere out there, you know, she's made videos of herself playing it. Like wow. she's a huge fan from being a little girl. And the game has evolved a lot from those early days, or at least she's found more things from those early days that have made us unwilling to continue playing the game. Interesting. Yeah. And what, what are, yeah, share some of those. Yeah, I just didn't want to dominate the conversation. I mean, if you want me to go, well, <laughs> yeah, I, I'll go, go first because you, you're an expert in this as your daughter's played it. I've I've checked it out. I've seen streamers play it. I've watched YouTube videos. Um, I've It's one of those things, you know what it reminds me of, talking about Roblox, and again, some context, I was a youth minister for 15 years. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to be familiar with all these types of things in order to help teenagers navigate their, their lives. Um, and so I always had Roblox and Musical.ly like as two things that your parents like do not let your kids on those apps mm -hmm. because there's just way too many opportunities just to, ha to have your kids talking to strangers, predators, you name it. Um, though that was just kind of like the stereotype about Musically, which is now TikTok. Yes. Talk about a rebrand, like a successful rebrand for very, them. Very. Because every youth minister now is on TikTok and they were against mm -hmm. Musically. So that's yeah. interesting. And Roblox was one of those, those things too, where it's just like, man, the amount of public conversations that are um, able to be had in that game with strangers is just terrifying. Exactly. And anytime you let a kid into something that they can talk to strangers, you're going to get predators there. Yes. Um, and so in Roblox, it's just a little more difficult to control that. Like Fortnite, you can just have a rule with your kids. You don't play with strangers. Yes. Great. Or your mic is off. And, yeah. And then you can't hear or, or it's a fun fact in Fortnite. If you turn your mic like all the way off, you can't hear people either. Yeah. You so can you turn off group chat or whatever. You can, yeah. You can't hear anything. You can just play the game. Um, it's a lot harder to do that in Roblox. So for me, I'm with you. Not for kids. Not even a game probably worth playing, especially when Minecraft, which we'll talk about later, uh, is, you know, has. What are some of your, there's more I could go on. There's yeah. like five other so things I think are dangerous about this game. Specific pitfalls if you're looking for these parents. Not only is it difficult to limit access to your children from other people because they have text chat and voice chat now, but it seems like Roblox has kind of given up on trying to protect kids. So they used to require in order to even be able to use voice chat, you used to have to register and, and have an age verification kind of a thing. They no longer require that. Anyone can have voice chat. Voice uh, modulators are very, very common. So people will pretend to be younger than they are. And if you're just a creepy dude, um, not that you are, but like if someone is uh, and you hear, oh, the number one gift that people give it at elementary school birthday parties is Robux. This is a place I'd like to be like, that's yeah. just what happens. But then, you know, even like on a lower level, before we get to people getting access to your kids and saying things that are horrible, th there are things like trading games. So a uh, popular one is Adopt Me. Um, kids like that. You basically you spawn in with a little egg and you're trying to get the coolest pet. And like that, if sure. you ask your kids to tell you about it, just I glaze real fast because they'll tell you all the different versions and the colors and the rankings and the whatever. Um, but ultimately, they do stupid things that kids do like trust trades. You'll hear this phrase where the kid will say, I'm going to do a trust trade and then they'll come to you crying because they got scammed. A trust trade is just, hey, if you give me your this, I'll give it back to you with something else afterwards. So your kid gives over their prized adopt me pet and the person logs off. And yeah. they now no longer have this item and your eight-year-old's crying and you're not sure what to do about it because it's not even a real thing. Yeah. You can't replace it. You don't know what he's even upset about. And it's a common thing. Like they know that they're going to get scammed, but there's one or two YouTubers out there who did it and then gave them an epic character or whatever. And they saw it happen on YouTube. So now they think that could happen to them. Yeah. And nine times out of 10, your kid's going to just end up brokenhearted. It's like the lottery for little kids. Yes. Except with like, they're actually giving up something they care about all of a sudden. It's yeah. very, very strange. I've had literally, I have five children and other than the baby who's never played, she's almost three, but um, every single one of my kids has come to me crying because they've been scammed in Roblox. Every single Boys, girls, doesn't matter. Yeah. Every time. And scams were something I was going to talk about. There's Scams are really a thing with uh, all video games now. That like v With Epic, there's V-Bucks and all kinds of things that people will you know, give me this and I'll get, send you this. And it's just kind of weird. So obviously Roblox is not alone in that, but what you're talking about is way different than some of those scams. And yeah, yeah I mean, heart wrenching for your kid. The, there's things called condo games where people like actually use the Roblox game as like a weird sex stuff. There's, there's this thing you can upload 
with um, with all your audio clips that are super inappropriate and there's no way to govern it. So like anyone can just upload any audio clip they want and anyone can hear, you know, people having sex, people shooting, so whatever. You can hear all kinds of stuff. Um, and for parents out there who are listening to this, you're probably, maybe some of you are experts, you're probably not like a streamer and you're probably not under, like don't understand how easy it is to do some of these things. Like to change your voice to sound younger sounds so like easy. sounds like something that would be really hard. If you have a microphone and a computer, it's very easy. Very easy. Um, and so like I wouldn't have known that if I wasn't in the streaming world for the last few years. And if I didn't use it to be like to troll people, I'll, I'll make my right. voice sound like super deep. Uh, you know, I'm not doing it to pretend to be a kid, um, but it's just very easy. And so this game for me all around just stay away from especially when there's so many other good games out there that are a lot safer for your kids yeah the hangout streams or or the hangout um games is where that is the like subcategory that those condo things fall under uh and it's common for those i had mentioned you can do in-game purchases with robux creators can create t-shirts like people um game creators uh in roblox can create t-shirts that you can buy so you can use your parents money that they got you on a robux gift card to buy a t-shirt that now makes your character appear to have giant boobs or to be naked or to be whatever. And Robux tries to do, or Roblox, I'm sorry, tries to do their best to remove those as they show up. But what happens is they do not refund the money. So your kid maybe buys a licensed character t-shirt and and that gets stripped off. Those will actually get stripped out a lot faster than the nudity, oh, sure. which is a lot of fun and interesting. So your kid spends you know, 15 actual real life dollars on this upgrade that now is no longer available to them. I believe there's a pending lawsuit about it, actually, because people are spending real life money and then the game nixes the the thing that they've purchased with no refund. Yeah. Um. So that's that's kind of a bummer as far as like scams are going, and and at the same time, and then when you're looking at things that seem so so simple, like an obstacle course game, where like all you're doing is jumping and answering trivia questions, the trivia questions will regularly include things that are not appropriate for children. So if your kid can read, there's a chance that they're going to be reading a trivia question or something that pops up on this game that's going to be sexually motivated or ask them to reveal their location, all sorts of things. This game is extremely dangerous for children. I'm with you. I'm with you. And we're not usually doom and gloom, especially you. Like you're like, you know, uh, open and and trying to see, like you you can parent your kids through a lot of stuff Mm -hmm. and have them have that experience. So for you to say that it's not a game that you let your kids play, especially after they've played it, is huge. Same for me. Weird, by the way, like I just hate, I hate that we have to be so negative here, but it's true. But man, there's just horrible people on the internet. My, I signed up my both my sons for fantasy football for the first time ever this year <laughs> in a random, just a 10 person random ESPN league. Yeah. Um, just so they could play, they want to play, they want to learn. It's like, okay, cool. The amount, the inappropriate names of the other teams in that draft, yeah. racist, sexist, homophobic, you name it, just yeah. horrible stuff. And my kids can read. Yeah. So they're like, what is that, daddy? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want to talk to you about fantasy football. How right. dumb is this? Weirdly, all of those names got changed to something appropriate after the draft. So like, well, that's good. That's awesome. Yeah. But I was just like, come on. My kids are walking around the house, like telling their, like my, my, my wife and their friends, like, oh, we learned today that there's a really bad person in fantasy football. And I'm just like, uh, yeah. People are bad. Roblox enables people to be bad. Yeah. And I don't like I try to be a little bit more nuanced about it. Like I don't I don't want to believe everybody on the Internet is bad because I personally have an online community full of fantastic Same. humans. And so do you. But like some even even if you're you may not know that your kid might be that kid and they might not be trying to be awful. But you know how kids get when they when they they're like, I'm just going to say the worst word I can think of right now. Yeah. And and then they're on the internet and they're semi anonymous. So your kid is going to like become comfortable, possibly. If your kid wants to say the worst thing that they can come up with, they're going to be saying the C word, they're going to be saying the N word, things that are just not good. And then it just desensitizes them to using that language until you see these videos of kids playing Call of Duty and it's awful. Yeah. So, like, I just feel like Roblox is so, it's so nebulous. It's so difficult to pin down as a parent. It's so hard to understand what's going on that parents quickly check out and don't want to oversee the whole thing. And, as soon as you're gone, that's when the bad happens. So. Yeah. So Mrs. Ruby and Bearded Blevins both saying Roblox. No. Not no, for kids. Not for kids. My kid currently has a Roblox Robux gift card he can't use. So if you want to trade me for like something, let me know. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah. We are going to have a much different outlook, mayhaps, on yeah. on Minecraft. Yeah. Uh, a little bit later. 
But for now, yeah. people can find us on YouTube and Instagram and where all podcasts live. They can give us five stars or four and a half stars, but no less than that. And right. give us suggestions on things you want us to review. Uh, but one of my favorite things about the potential of the show is that a lot of the content is evergreen because yeah. Roblox has been out forever. Forever. And Minecraft forever. And Fortnite is still like the best game of all time as far as ratings go. Mm -hmm. So the episodes we're doing are going to last for a long time. And so suggest things that are old that people are still playing or watching, et cetera. Yeah. Questions you have, things that your kids are encountering that you don't want to wade through yourself. John will do it for you. We'll do it for you. Until next time. We'll see you soon. We need like a sign off line. Stay classy, San Diego. Stay classy. <laughs> Go Lions. Oh, nice.